All right, so we're going to add a toilet in this bathroom and then move the sink across the way. I know, what kind of bathroom doesn't have a toilet? This one. Let's get to work. So this one's for KC Construction out of Plymouth, Mass. And at this point in time, I'm happy to say that between them, the guy with all the apartments, and another builder, they're keeping me busier than a three-legged cat in a litter box. I don't have a problem opening up some sheetrock so I can get some plumbing in and get her over with, all right? So I know some of you guys are prima donnas and you won't do this. And then there's going to be other commenters that say, you should have a mask on when you're touching that. Let me tell you, poke your cigarette out before you type that comment in, all right? And yes, I do own the shear. I just choose not to use it all the time because I already got a sawzall on the side of me. And why carry in more tools than you already need? Man, that was quick. We're already on the water pipe. Those are the hold right uh, brackets that you got for water lines. HRF-P-1. Underneath that orange cap is the actual stop. You just unscrew it on the finish, and it comes with a chrome ring that you screw on for as a discussion. I will say this. They're pretty durable, and they're uh, very helpful, I must say. So we're going to get the old lav cut and capped, and we're going to replace those lines because they're M-tubing with some PEX. I mean, I'm not going to re-plumb the whole place, but I'll be able to re-plumb as much as I can for them. That's right. I see some people on Instagram piping houses with M-tubing. You can't hide it. The red lines on it show it. That's for heat only, not for domestic. Pinholes will happen within 10 years, guaranteed. We got the Vega PEX by Copper Adapters, press by press, because you know me. Pressing the press the rest and sail it to the best. I don't know. It's getting late. I actually think it came out right. One more mention: if anybody's on Facebook that follows me, feel free to report that page so uh, they can at least delete it at this point and follow my new one. And there's a broomstick telling me where the vent is. There she is. And there it is, all said and done. Whip it and clip it. Don't look too fast. You know what I mean? Fast forward through that. So you gotta get. If it shows, it goes. Look at that thing. It's meant straight. It's all good. Got the not enough sand in the trench. I know somebody's going to say that. So we're done for today, and I'm going to come back the next day, and we're going to add sand. See, I just had to go buy it at the store. Listen, I can't, I can't travel around with everything I need for a job. What do I look like? To me, if I can get the bulk of the job done in one day and just have to go back the next to put a test on it, add some sand, I'm good with that. Cause to me, that's an easy day. And this happens to be a Monday, so it's an easy Monday for this guy. And for everybody with something rude to say in the comment sections, I bought you one of these. Just send me the address and I'll mail it to your house. Now, a lot of plumbers don't even know what you do with that thing. So there you go. You shove it down the pipe. And this is why everything in plumbing is so goddamn sexual. And I just can't help myself by, you know, going that way with it. But you put a plug on that. And I'm going to fill from that, even though it's dripping green stuff sketchy but it did the trick so you pump that long dong up it's going to actually cut off that two inch line and you're going to be able to fill the drain line up through the vent so then that's i got a 10 foot head of water pressure on all the pvc joints except for the most important ones what is a toilet now i didn't use a 4 by 390 on this one because i was fitting bound see where the three inch existing y is that i cut in well it's a three inch y a three inch street eighth and then a three inch street three by two and then a three inch street 90 into it so i can get the 12 inch rough off the toilet so we're approved on the inspection and now i'm going to cut the flange in drop the test down so the guys can fill the trench concrete it sheet rock it and i can go there and do the finish in a week or two look at all that blue goo down there the, i couldn't get something to stop law i don't even know if maybe condensation was dripping so i use the blue goo on pvc when the water won't stop coming out of the drain pipe and that, boys, is why I haven't used purple yet, because you'd be looking at this page and thinking that I'm just some kind of hack. Or maybe you're watching this page and thinking that anyways, but at that point, I don't even care. I believe I literally poured the can of blue glue on that because it's a three-inch slip coupling, so just bear with me. It goes in the dirt, and you'll never see it again. We're going to dry fit the flange, make sure it's at the correct height with the finished floor tile. And we're going to check one more time before we go.